Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Today I am going to test out and review a product from Kurt called the Better Way. Uh, Better Way, Way Mobile Scale. So this little gadget is an OBD2 uh, dongle that plugs into, the, into your truck. And the idea of it is it's going to measure the load of your trailer, the weight of your truck and the weight of your trailer, um, weight of payload, weight distribution, even brake gain. So it's an interesting little gadget. Uh, first up, I want to say this is my first review for a company called Lippard. Um, lately, they, they called me and asked me to be a what they call a brand ambassador. So basically, they're going to send up a bunch of their products for me to do a Love Your RV review. Uh, I guess for their side is they get some uh, brand exposure. Uh, they do have a, an LCI store, Lippard Components International, so they're trying to promote that. And their, and their brand. Uh, my side, I'm going to get products free of charge to review. They're not paying me or sponsoring me. They're just sending me out the products and for an honest review. I think they're also looking for feedback from real RVers. Uh, over the years, I've known Lippard as a brand that builds most of the equipment in a trailer, uh, like frame, doors, slide outs, furniture, all sorts of things had the name Lippard. So they're sort of a business to business selling to RV manufacturers but I guess they're trying to get into the consumer direct to the consumer game so so that's the brand ambassador deal anyway this will be the one of the first of many products I'll be reviewing so let's get to it so there we are that's the gadget plugs right into your onboard diagnostic port on your truck I think some motorhomes also have that sort of thing so this is better weight it's by a company called Kurt, who makes your, you know, a lot of the ma people may know Kurt from uh, uh, hitches. My Mopar hitch that I factory ordered for my Ram truck is actually, I'm pretty sure, built by Kurt. It's a, literally identical to one of their models. So they're, they've been in the towing game for quite a long time. Also, I've seen this sort of gadget uh, under the name of Hall Gauge. Uh, quite a few uh, people have mentioned them to me over the years, but I've never actually tried one. I think this goes, I'll look it up, but I think it goes for a little over around $100 or so. And first thing you have to do, this is the instructions, that's all there was included, instruction manual, download the app and plug it in. So let me download the app and we'll have a look at that on my smartphone. So I've plugged the better way OBD2 dongle into the port there, right under the dash. Doesn't stick out at all. So downloaded the app, Better Way, and I've plugged it uh, into my um, OBD2 port. Um, says wants Bluetooth here. Well, searching for Better Way, there it did. Connect to your vehicle. Looks like I found my bin right away. Searching vehicle calibrations, RAM. It even knows my transmission. So I got the output, high output transmission, the ISIN. Yep, so I'll choose that. Set level, place vehicle on level ground, front to back. When level, shift into park. Okay. Do not bump vehicle. There we go. You got this screen, you've got weight, tongue weight, payload, weight distribution, pin weight, trailer brake gain. So let's just check weight here. For best results, drive to a level road where you can safely accelerate at mid throttle 0 to 15 in a straight line. Okay, we'll go do that and uh, come back, see what it comes back with. Okay, after calibration, it's showing my truck. Looks like maybe a titch over 9,000 pounds, which makes sense. Um, my gross vehicle weight is 12,300, and on the door sticker, it's pretty close to 4,000 payload. And so you take that off of that, and you're right around uh, 8,300. You add me, it puts out to 8,500, and then I do have a big tool chest in the back of the truck. 
and also have various stuff stored under the seat and that so that could account for the other 500 pounds. I don't have a scale handy to actually go and weigh the truck but uh, I did do this in two ways. There's a manual calibration and then there's a factory calibration that goes off your VIN number. So I put in the, the put in, it found the VIN through the, the, the diagnostic port and then I just did a, a couple short uh, drives and it told you to accelerate to 15 miles an hour at medium acceleration. And uh, it came with basically the same reading as this one, I went and actually did the manual calibration. They have the manual calibration because people are going to change things on their truck. They might change their rear end, different size tires, um, add accessories, uh, that sort of thing. So that looks like that works out. Now we can check a few other things. I think next what I'm going to do is maybe uh, check payload. i got a water bladder that I can fill up with so many gallons of water and we can see if it can measure the load. So I loaded the truck with my water bladder that I use for boondocking. Figure I can fill that up rather than hurt my back <laughs> loading stuff in there and then it's easy to drain. I also have a, a water meter here. So I'll be able to figure out when I've hit 30 gallons. 30 gallons should be about 250 pounds. So just check the payload, turn the engine off, ready to tap. Initializing scale, do not bump vehicle. Okay, load truck bed, center load over rear axle. Well, my hitch is there right now, so I'll try to get it as close as I can. Okay, let's turn the water on. There we go. Got my meter going there, measuring gallons. Okay, 30 gallons, and that's a 30 gallon bladder. See what we got here. So it's showing a little over 200 pounds, not quite 250 like I figured it might. But I don't have it centered right above the axle because I still have the hitch in there. So maybe let's uh, try adding me to the weight. Should put another like near 200 pounds in there and see what we got. Okay, I'm sitting right on top of the hitch, trying not to move much, and we're right around 500 pounds, so that water bag should weigh 250. Honestly, I'm right or close to 200, so it gets a little bit off, but it is uh, measuring it. Now I've jumped back off. You can see it dropping so slowly. Not super fast, but I guess the Bluetooth is a little bit flaky, and it could be my phone too. Isn't the greatest, so. But you can see it slowly coming back. All right, down. one more test here. I got 160 pounds of water there, so I'm going to put it right centered above the axle, and then I'll get in there right centered above the axle, and uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, there's the water in there. Right over the axle, it should be about 150, 160, so that's what it's showing. Now I'll get up there and I'll check that out. So you had my 200 pounds. I'm standing right beside the hitch, as close as the center as I can get. And it's pretty close, but it, it seems to wander. You can see it's down, drop, drop, drop. And it goes up, so... It is sort of flaky. It could also be there's a little bit of a breeze blowing. That could be just ever so slightly blowing the truck around. You can see what I mean. I've gotten out of the truck and now it's showing about maybe 220 pounds dropping. But it sure takes its sweet time to sort of find its level. It's slowly dropping. There we go. It kind of found it again. So... Kind of mixed results with this. It sort of works, but it's kind of slow at updating. It's not super accurate. And they just give you this analog gauge, not a digital gauge. So anyway, let's move on. And I'm going to try the pin weight, see if it will measure the pin weight of the fifth wheel. I don't know exactly what my pin weight is, but it, it should be up there around 1,500 pounds to 1,700 pounds. That's usually what it reads on most scales. 
So next we'll check the pin weight. I have it uh, just uh, ready to go. Turn this on. It says turn off engine, engage kingpin with no re weight ready. Initializing scale, don't bump vehicle. Loading some weight on there, it's climbing a bit. There we go, we're off the ground. So I'll just let that settle and come back with a final figure for you. So it's settled in right around 1300 pounds, which seems a bit low to me. But in this spot we are, we're quite slanted down this way, so there's more weight on the axles. And they do have a full fresh water tank, so I guess that's accurate. I'm not going to be able to uh, check accuracy until I can get this thing on the road, but I thought I'd give her a test anyway while I have it. Um, this waiting maybe we'll go out and uh, take a road trip in a week or two. Right now we're pretty uh, entrenched here at the campsite, so I didn't want to break camp, but I wanted to, to do a few tests with this new gizmo. Maybe we'll go over and uh, give Ann's uh, boat trailer a try, see what the pin weight is. And in. next we'll check out Ann's boat. Position vehicle, so coupler's over ball, turn off engine, ready. I don't know why it's going up like that, it's saying a thousand pounds for no reason. Huh. Yeah, I had to do a reset on it. Now we're at zero and I'll lower it down. So it looks like about 150 pounds or so, which is probably pretty close. I think her boat weighs in at around 1,500 pounds. And of course the motor's at the back and it's kind of on a downhill slant, much like the trailer was. So there you go, that's a quick look at the Better Way mobile towing scale and a few tests on what it can do, well at least what I can do here without breaking camp right now. So I've gone through and I tested the vehicle weight, uh, cargo and payload, and tongue and pin, pin weights. Uh, in part two I'm going to take the trailer out, uh, the fifth wheel trailer and Ann's boat trailer and we'll get on the road and test the uh, test what it, what it comes back with as a total uh, vehicle weight, see if it can figure out what the trailer weight is, and also test this trailer brake gain feature here. Uh, if you want more information, I'll give a link to this page on the Lippert Components site, and also I'll leave a link for the, the Kurt site. I noticed they've made quite a few videos uh, with each feature, so if you want to dive deep into what this thing can do, I'll leave that link in the description below. Anyway, till next time, that's Ray from Love Your RV. Thanks for watching, folks. Cheers.